everyone. I want to tell you how to become a teacher in the UK. I also want to tell you the UK vacancies for teachers that are opening up in the year 2023. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the UK updated and qualified teacher status for non-UK teachers. What all this means is that as a teacher, you have the chance and the opportunity to travel to the UK and to teach in the UK. Even though you bag your certificate from Nigeria, from Jamaica, from India, and from Singapore, from Ghana, you bag your certificates and you are a citizen of Ukraine, South Africa, Hong Kong, and the other countries I've mentioned, including Zimbabwe. Now, you can become a teacher in the UK with no assessment needed. The details is what I'm going to give you in this video. And I want to tell you how to move to UK as a teacher. And you will not just move alone, you are going to move with your whole family. Beginning in February 1, 2023, the United Kingdom, England precisely, will actively seek to hire new teachers from countries like Nigeria. Note that the population of England is 56 million. Also note that the population of nursery and primary school children in England is 5 million. The ratio of teacher to puppies in nursery and primary schools in England is 1 ratio 20. I told somebody about this opportunity and the person told me that, the person asked me that what happened to the other teachers that are there before? <laughs> UK is an advanced country. It's not a developing country like Nigeria. It's not a developing country like even Ghana, where, where even when teachers have um, reached retirement age, they will not retire. They still want to continue working because they want to continue earning. Because the pension will not pay them well. So they want to work longer so that before they, they retire. But in the UK, life is good. So teachers, at the appropriate time, they retire and the facilitators are there to take care of them after retirement. They get their benefits as at when they get maximum respect and they are accorded maximum respect by the nation. UK teachers are well paid to compare with most African um, developing countries in Africa and elsewhere in the world where teachers are not well paid. So, the application process for UK for non-UK nationals was announced in an early December publication on the UK government website by the Department of Education. I'm going to leave the website in the description section of this video. Beginning in February 2023, citizens of Nigeria and other African countries can apply for qualified teacher status in the United Kingdom through the Teaching Regulation Agency. Additionally, there are the countries of Ghana, Hong Kong, India, Jamaica, Singapore, South Africa, Ukraine, and Zimbabwe. So if you are from this country, from February 1, the application process will be open on the UK website, which I'm going to leave in the description section of this video. It's the last thing in the description section. Just scroll down to the description, end of the description. You are going to see it there. Those applying for teaching positions in the UK from outside the country now need a work visa or other immigration status to legally do so. A skilled worker visa sponsored by the employer is also required. The UK Department of Education announced the application process for non-UK citizens in an early December publication on the UK government's website. The report claims that applicants don't need, even need to have prior teaching experience. You don't need prior teaching experience. As the country provides a training program for those who are interested in migrating there. An announcement stated that beginning February 1, 2023, the TRA will accept applications to the QTR from the teachers who are qualified in nine in the nine countries listed above listed above the update is a part of the introduction of a new service and it states 
teachers from all over, teachers from all eligible countries will have to show they meet a consistent set of criteria for the award of the QTS. QTS is Qualified Teacher Status. So there's a way you do it as an exam you do to show to qualify for QTS. But there's, they are bringing up something that will show that you are qualified also. So that is the QTS now. And you can go in through that avenue even without doing the QTS. So when you go in through that avenue, which I will tell you now, without doing the QTS, then as you are there, within four years, you do the QTS. QTS is not something that takes time. Soon, qualified educators from every country besides UK will be able to take advantage of this pathway. So, this pathway or this information is not only for those from the nine countries, but for the starting point, for a start, is from the nine countries. But later on, maybe as the year rolls by, after two years, after three years, after five years, it's a continuous thing. So, as the year goes by, other teachers from other places are going to be able to benefit from this also. Now, you don't need to have a degree in education to apply for assessment. So you don't need to have a degree in, in education to qualify to be assessed. So if you have a bachelor's degree in mathematics, you have a bachelor's degree, bachelor of science degree in microbiology, you have a bachelor of science degree in zoology, you have a bachelor of science degree in um, animal production, you have a Bachelor of Science degree in English. You have a Bachelor of Science degree in Human Kinetics. You are eligible to apply. However, you need the following to teach students age 3 to 11 in primary school. So what I want to tell you now are the things you need, the requirements you need, in addition to having a degree. HND is also a degree. I am not certain it's acceptable or not, but from February 1, 2023, when the website will be open for people to apply, you apply. If you have HND, you apply, you go on and check. I am going to give you an update of what they are going to take when the application starts, the exact thing. But for now, the information we gather is what I'm going to tell you. When it starts, I'm going to ask those who have OND to apply. I'm going to help them to, to see if it's good. I'm going to take it. I will ask those who have HND to apply. Other people that have different certificates, I ask them to apply. Then I will do a video on it and inform you. But for now, we know that university degree is accepted. So what you need is a minimum of two years of teaching experience. You must have two years of teaching experience. It is not a must that must be in a school. Maybe you teach in your Sunday school in the church. Maybe you teach students your heart fellowship. Maybe you have some people you tell stories to. You are you are teaching in some ways. That means you are teaching. Maybe you are even a leader in your unit somewhere. Maybe in Red Cross, you are a leader of a compartment of a of a um, you are a leader of a department. You are a leader or somewhere. That means you, you are you are dishing out information to people and they are following. You have ability to teach. That's all they need. So all this is not a must that is in a school. So please understand. So you have a minimum of two years of teaching experience. Then you need a first bachelor's degree from a UK or non-UK university. I stated that HND holders can apply, and then we we'll see if it's going to be acceptable or not. You also need a qualification in English language equivalent to a GS GCSE Grade Four, that is WIEC or NECU or NAPTEP. You also need a qualification in mathematics equivalent to a GCSE Grade 4. That is also WIEC or NECO or NAPTEB in Nigeria. You also need a qualification in physics, chemistry or biology equivalent to a GCSE Grade 4, WIEC or NECO in Nigeria. You see, they are more interested in the science area. That is STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So these are what you need. The United Kingdom is an island nation located in the northwest corner of Europe and it consists of the countries of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. London, the capital of England and a globally influential center of finance and culture is located in England. 
the country that gave birth to both William Shakespeare and the Beatles. In addition, England is home to the Neolithic Stone, Stonehenge, the Roman Bath of Bath, and the universities of Oxford and Cambridge, which dates back hundreds of years. So, take up the opportunity and dust your file and apply. Get your international passport ready. Get other information on travel. Then, if you are eligible, I want to advise you to start watching films done in England. English films produced by people, English-speaking people, so that you will start imbibing how they speak and be able to pick what they speak. Sometimes you watch on movies, you don't even you know that they are saying something, but you don't get it. Start watching those movies deliberately to get their intonation and to start preparing yourself. Another kingdom has a population of about 70 million people today. Now the link I spoke about that I'm going to drop to the education website we are going to apply, the link is dropped at the end of the description section of the video. So go ahead and apply. I am going to give you, bring you more information about this as events unfold. Now, my name is Dr. Olubenga Adetitun. I am a YouTuber, I'm a lecturer here in Nigeria, and I take my spare time to bring you information about opportunities around the world. On this YouTube channel, I have made close to 600 videos and I talk about opportunities in farming, in different types of businesses that you can talk about. I am an exponent that says that opportunities are everywhere and the opportunities in the UK that I've seen that Nigerians can apply for is what I'm bringing to you today. If this video has given you value, Think it well to subscribe because more are going to be coming. I'm going to talk to you soon. This video popping up is going to help you. I have series of videos about scholarship also on this channel. Check them out and you are going to be glad you did. Bye for now.